Well, that time of year for the traditional New Year's resolutions has begun. So many of us use January as a time to start over, try harder, do better, and of course the ever infamous lose weight, get healthy. For a couple of decades now, my resolutions have included the desire to devote quality time each day with God. And inevitably, as I reflect over the previous year, I'm disappointed in myself for my not putting in more effort. But at the same time, I feel excited at the prospect of getting a do-over. So where do I start? With God's Word. It is the ultimate guide for doing better in any year. And with all that went on in 2020, I want to start 2021 strong. In the Bible, we find words to encourage us through difficult times, verses that help us relate to people, and revelations that show us God's character. We know God is about love, relationship, and forgiveness, but He is also about wisdom and righteousness. God wants us to have knowledge and understanding, and there is no greater source than His Word. The book of Proverbs is full of wise sayings for teaching us how to live in a way that reflects God's wisdom and integrity. That is why, over the years, I have made it a New Year's resolution to read the book of Proverbs in January. There are 31 chapters in Proverbs, so reading a chapter a day can keep me on track and reveal several wise words to meditate on. There are so many good Proverbs to keep close in the mind and heart. The words found in chapter 2 have been special to me for 18 years. If you accept my words and store my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, and if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as a hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. I believe to fear the Lord means we are in awe of His power and we show honor and respect to God by living a life in obedience to His ways. This does not happen by waiting, but by action. We must seek to know God. We must be active in our pursuit for His wisdom. There is no better way to know God than to know what His Word says. God's Word should challenge us, remind us of where we fall short, and then entice us to continue searching and striving for strength and wisdom. Proverbs 12 says it this way, Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge but he who hates correction is stupid. A good man obtains favor from the Lord, but the Lord condemns a crafty man. The plans of the righteous are just, but the advice of the wicked is deceitful. Wicked men are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous stands firm. Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in men who are truthful. In the way of righteousness, there is life. These Proverbs tell us that we must actively pursue the wisdom of God, and when we do, God will reward us. We will be protected, favored, healed, and we will have life. I don't know what this year will hold, but I do know that God holds now and the future in His hands. I want to draw close to Him and do my very best to gain a better understanding of His wisdom. I want to fear the Lord every single moment.